Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I got one more interesting problem statement for you. Uh, so what exactly the problem statement is and how we are going to deal with this, let's see. So uh, we wanted to calculate a cumulative sum. Cumulative sum is something like say, if I am, if I am standing on a 1st of May and I'm, my sales is $10 and what? So I just want to calculate the total sales historically plus today's sales. And I want to show it in this way. So if you see in January, there is a 14K of sale. In February, there is a 4.5, uh, 4.4K sales. And in February, if we are standing, so that is a cumulative sum is 18K. So how we are going to do this and calculate these things. And it helps to show that is there any, how we are actually, uh, is there any growth in the market or not? Or we are getting stagnant. So these kind of things that actually helps a lot in forming an important KPIs for you. So uh, let's see. So... So first, let's see particular this measure that I've already created and what exactly it is. And we will try to uh, debug this thing. So let's see. So what I'm saying here right now is the calculate sum of sales by applying a certain filters. And that filter will be like, let's say, first I'm using the all uh, in the data and try first I'm removing all the slicers in context, whatever the data is. So there is no filter is applied right now in the data. Now, for each context, let's say if I am in January and we are want to calculate a cumulative sale for February. So what it does, this particular row of data, filters out all the data from February to historical. And then based on this top of this uh, filter, filter selected rows, it will calculate the sum of sales value. But this is how you can simply calculate the uh, cumulative sales value. Now, here is the one catch is there if you see. Uh, if I just select the January month, if you see 16 plus uh, 288, 304 and whatnot. But the, here the catch is, it, it, it suits well when you do not want to have any kind of a slice or a filter applied on the data. But let's say what if I just want to select the technology and see how my cumulative sales looks like for a technology category. If you see here, on a day January 6, there is a... a thousand approximately thousand uh, 1200 k sales uh, but uh, in the cumulative sum it does not comes up properly so what exactly it is happening so as i said earlier that we are using here that function called all which removes all the slicers of filters in context and then get the values based on that we do not want that what we want is we want to first uh, have this context in the picture like if i am applying category it should also be in my category list so what i can do here right now i will just add the this particular measure that i have created and if you see this is the same value since i have nothing applied but the moment i apply technology here if you see here the context changes okay the context is sixth uh 1147 sales is there this is the value plus 31 gives you 1179 so this is the context that we are trying to see because I want to see only the sales, cumulative sales of technology, not at an overall level. So this is how it works. And it just by changing of one function called all selected, which keeps the context in the slicer. And that's how you will deal with this particular situation. Uh, it's a simple tricky trick that you should take care of it, like how the all and all selected are actually uh, behaves and what exactly the difference is between both the things. I have already created one more video. Please check out in the links in the description. And if you are able to follow till this point, like uh, just to have this small integrity that you should take care of it. So please like this video, subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Follow for more Power BI updates.